I finally got my hands on some Suku makeup and also some Suku brushes. Over the holidays, um, they were doing free shipping at Selfridges, so I took advantage of that. And I have to give a big shout out to Sanic Makeup on Instagram for letting me know about the free shipping code, because otherwise it's $40 to ship from Selfridges to the United States. And then also, um, I purchased my first Suku palette from Food Japan. His name's Toshia, and I found out about him through Sonia from Sweet Makeup Temptations, her blog. And I'm gonna haul some brushes here too. <laughs> uh, Sonia is like the mecca of Japanese handmade makeup brushes. Her, what, not only that, but she does other brushes as well, but her blog is, it's amazing. She has the brush collection dreams are made of. <laughs> um, and I found out about Toshia through her because I was just dying to get a certain brush set and I couldn't find it anywhere. So that's kind of how um, we made the connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave Toshia's um, his Instagram down below and I'm also going to leave a link to Sonia's blog because those are some some great places to look for both Japanese brushes and then Toshia also does the Suku makeup and is able to get Asian exclusives which I'm pale so I'm always ooing and aahing over the Asian exclusive shades they're like I, and I can never get them because we're in the states and they don't bring them over here and he's able to do that he also gets um addiction and elegance, and he's able to get several um, several different Japanese uh, makeup brush brands like Kahitsu, Kwayudo, Hakuhodo, Chikahodo, which I've I've been purchasing. I've been bad. <laughs> I've been purchasing Chikahodo and Hakuhodo sets from him for quite a while, and it, it gets addicting. He posts some of the most beautiful brush sets I've ever seen. So let me get started with the Suku Blend Color Eyeshadow. These do come with a little velvet pouch as well. Um, the packaging is really sleek and nice packaging. This is what this looks like. I ordered this one from Toshia and I, I've i worn this a couple times. It's it's really gorgeous. The uh, Suku eyeshadows, they, you don't find a ton of like uniqueness in the colors, but there's just something that is outstanding about the way that they look on the eyes. Like the matte in there is this one right here. This shadow formula blends very beautifully. I do get minimal fallout with a couple of the shades, but they blend so nice. And it's funny because when I look at the quads, like in the pan and stuff, I don't see a ton of, you know, colors that just jump out at me or anything like that. But every time I use one, there's something that looks just absolutely beautiful on the eyes. And it was funny because I was thinking when I got these that that they reminded me of something that uh, an actress would wear on the red carpet. And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> These are what actresses wear on the red carpet. Like Lisa Eldridge uses these. Mary Greenwell uses these. Like some really top notch makeup artists use these on actresses on the carpet. And that's exactly what I think of. I think every one, which I've used all the ones that I've purchased, um, I just feel like you can't, you can't get an ugly look out of them. You can't be overboard. You can't be too over the top. But the shadow itself looks really pretty on. So I kind of think that there's a certain type of, um, People that'll like these, you know, if you're gung-ho about super bright colors and super unique colors or something like those, uh, you know, like an Urban Decay electric palette or something, this isn't going to be for you. But if you're looking for something that just works and is pretty and has pigment and blends nice and it's just easy, effortless and pretty at the same time, these are great. Each quad also comes with a double-ended sponge tip, but it also comes with a very nice double-ended little brush. And the reason why I say nice is because, like, the actual brushes are... The quality of the hairs on this little guy is nice. This next one is the Suku Blend Color Eyeshadow in 03 Mott Sukasa. Probably butchering that. <laughs> Each one of these is 0.22 ounces a piece as well. So you're getting just over 0.05 ounces per eyeshadow, which is a decent amount of product. Now I think these next five eyeshadow quads that I'm going to show you might be Selfridges exclusive. I'm not sure because I think there's some numbers that are like, um, they have an EX-03 and then there's some that are just 03. I'm not 100% sure, but these next five and then this little set I'm going to show you, I did purchase off of Selfridges when they were doing that um, free shipping to the US. So this one here is 03 Matsukasa and this is beautiful. It, I mean, again, like like the colors don't look like anything super unique, but they just look so pretty on the eyes. They really do. And then mattes in here, the bottom two shades are matte colors. So that one is 03 Mott Sukasa. Then we've got 06 
Jin Budo. I, I, <laughs> I might be butchering that. Uh, G I N B U D O U. And that's this guy right here. The bottom two shades in this one are matte colors. And uh, I wore this yesterday. I did use a different, um, because this white was a little stark and I'm not really feeling a super, super bright highlight lately. I did use a different, like, cream colored eyeshadow underneath the brow bone, but, um, this was really gorgeous on. Just looked pretty. Let me get a little more of this gold right here. It is so blending into my skin, but. So that one is 06 Jean Boudot. And then we've got 04 Keshizumi, K-E-S-H-I-Z-U-M-I. -I. So number 04, this is beautiful. This is really, really beautiful. It's got, um, I didn't know if it's, uh, yeah, it kind of is showing up. It's got a purple hue to it. Uh, these bottom two shades are the mattes in the squad. We'll do these two at a time. Jeez, I'm, <laughs> the lasting power is good. <laughs> I can't even wipe those off. So those are the top two, and then these bottom two, which are matte colors. And they're so, like, these shadows here are soft, substantial, and not powdery, which is, I think that's kind of a rare combination in a matte eyeshadow formula. So that one is 04 Keshizumi. And then we've got 05 Sock. I know I'm going to butcher this one. Sakurakaba. S-A-K-U-R-A-K-A-B-A. -A -A -A, quad 05. And I believe this is one of the really popular ones from Suku. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, neutral, everyday, can't go wrong type of eyeshadow palette that will still look not boring and very pretty on the eyes. Let me get this. The mattes in here are also the bottom two shades. Let me get this one. Oh, they're so soft. <laughs> so that one's 05 Sakura Kaba. <laughs> and then the last quad I have to show you is quad 02 Kokodama. K O K E D A M A. And this is the green one. And I was wearing this, oh shoot. It was a couple videos back I had this on when I was wearing some green eyeshadow. Again, it's just, if you wanna wear green eyeshadow, this is the way to do it without you having to be like worried about wearing green eyeshadow, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But again, the bottom two shades in this quad are the matte shades and then the top two are have got the shimmer in them. I like scrubbed trying to get this off and it's just not coming off. <laughs> and then these bottom two, which are the matte. Just like ignore that. <laughs> so that one is 02 Kokodama. These next two items came in a holiday set and it came with a little bag like this, a Suku bag. I also purchased this one off of Selfridges and then it came oops, with an eyeliner. It is called the Suku Gel Eyeliner Pencil EX02 and it's a really fine tipped black eyeliner. It's not the blackest blackest black that like I have seen. It's not the creamiest either. I wonder if you guys can see right there but I was thinking because of the texture that it had when I put it on my hands or swatched it on my hands, I thought that it was gonna be one that was gonna last really well on the waterline, and so I was really excited about that, but unfortunately, it doesn't last very long for me on the waterline, but that came in the set along with the bag and also a mini Sufu uh, makeup remover, which is okay. It, it, it's nice, but I realized after two days, it kind of made my eyes red but I really have the sensitive eyes. The little trio that came in that set is called the Suku Eye Color Palette EX04. She Suri. S-H-I-S-O-U-O-R-I -I is what this one's called. And this here, like, it was so shiny. Um, and I thought this is going to be like a glitter bomb, you know, if I use it by itself. But I thought there was going to be, like, too much shimmer or something. But there was just enough sparkle that it just looks so pretty on, which is... Like, I didn't think that when I looked at... I didn't think, think that they were going to look as pretty as they did when I looked at any of the quads, to be honest. But it's really, really pretty. Try to get these. So there are those. 
there's just something like I even feel like swatching these I feel like you, you can't really get a feel for them that well in a swatch either you kind of have to use them and put them on to get the true feel of them but there's just something really pretty and really elegant feeling about these Suku eyeshadows Also, when I was taking advantage of the free shipping at Selfridges, I picked up four of the Suku brushes, and I watched Lisa Eldridge use these brushes for like, I feel like eons, and I've wished for them for such a long time. And so I finally got the brushes that I wanted. I picked up four of them. This first one is the Suku Cheek Brush, and this is a brush that you want, you want that would work really well with super pigmented blushes, or if you didn't want to get carried away with your blush. Beautiful brush. In comparison to the Chikahoto Cheek Highlight Brush, this is what they look like. The Suku ones have a longer, the, the handle tapers, and it's a little bit skinnier than a Chikahoto Z series brush. This is uh, the cheek highlight from the Z series. It's slightly smaller, and it's not as dense as the Chikahoto one. It's got more of an airy, wispy feel to it. Um, both of these are gray squirrel uh, brushes, I believe, and both also, Suku brushes are made by Chikahoto, so you can see the similarities in the ferrules, like the, the tapering right here, and then the from the handle to there are very very similar and so is the hair quality so this is the the uh, comparison of the two here's the Chikahoto and here is the Suku cheek brush this is the Chikahoto cheek highlight this next one is the Suku face brush and this is the big powder brush I've been using this since I purchased it I've been using it with my Guerlain meteorites to finish off my face which typically I use something like the Chikahoto Z8 or a PK or MK1 or MK2 brush, which this is the MK1 and MK2 are like the same brush, they just have like a different design on the handle, so this is one or the other. Um, this is them in comparison. You can see the MK brush is a little bit more full, and then the Suku brush, hopefully you can see, has got a little bit more of a taper to it. Again, I feel like the hair quality is is of equal softness. And again, these are both made by Chikuhoto. So now the thing about these, I love this powder brush. I think it's great, but there's a huge price hike, I feel like, from you know regular Chikuhoto brushes to the Suku line. And I don't feel like this brush is any better than this brush right here. And this, you know, for having the design and my name is engraved on the handle, this brush was, I believe, I would even go far to say like $100 cheaper than the Suku brush. So um, I would just go with like a MK1, MK2. Um, it's a beautiful brush and I'm glad that I own it, but, but I feel it's unnecessary to pay that heavy price tag when you can get the same type of brush, same type of quality brush for quite a bit cheaper. The next two brushes are eye brushes and I hope to heck I don't I don't have these mixed up. <laughs> I think that this is the uh, brush L and this is brush M. I don't think, I I could have them backwards, but I, I think that's what they are because it doesn't actually say on the brush. Um, I wish that I would have purchased more of these. I don't, in my entire brush collection of like, especially like my Japanese brush collection, um, I don't have any brushes that look like this. Um, these are both so, so soft. Like you could blend to your heart's desire on your eye and you shouldn't, you know, worry about irritation. This brush M is like a large, it's like a big Goss number six, which I'm going to show you them next to each other. So here's the Goss 6 and here's the M. It's bigger and it's fluffier. I've been using it to both put under uh, brow highlight underneath and then also I'll bring it down and kind of blend out the crease. This is just a beautiful brush. And then the other one, L brush, I love it. I wish I would have bought, <laughs> I wish I would have bought two more of each of them, but that's like a little ridiculous, but still. Um, this one here is the new Goss 5 brush. And then here is the Suku L brush. This is one of the nicest little softest brushes ever for doing detailed crease work. You can bring it through the crease like this. You can do outer corner work. You can blend out the upper portion. It's like both of these brushes are so versatile on top of being super, super soft and great. And I love them. I really love them. I thought it was crazy how I didn't have any brushes in my whole collection that were like those two particular brushes in quality and softness and shape. I like pulled out all these brushes to haul and I'm realizing this because I could just talk brushes and I could just talk and talk and talk about brushes. I realize this video is like already getting super long. So you have to let me know if you want to see more brush stuff because I have more brushes. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.